you know, as you grow in life, you realize that, you know what, you don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. And as you look upon every Friday, you don't want to say TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Here, I present something a little different on the note, which is something I'm doing personally myself. Honestly, I'm a I'm into tech, I'm a coder, I'm a developer, and I don't have a lot of time to spend on looking out for investing stuff, information and things. That said, I also want to make sure that my money is not degrading, not uh, losing its value day by day, of course, due to inflation. Now, I think we are living in a day and age where every small kid knows how inflation degrades the value of your money, of what you earn. Let's say it's $100 today will not remain same. It will uh, change, of course. And the inflation right now in Canada is about 3% to 4% uh, according to the recent CPI index. But uh, is my value growing at the same rate? Also, I want to make sure that it's growing minimum at least by 8% or something. So there are a few steps which I think are pretty feasible as well as uh, also don't take a lot of time. Risk-free, of course. And I think uh, risk is something which is which is debatable because it depends on your appetite as well. But major concern I think for today's Gen Z is about managing their time. It's also about I'm working 40 hours a week in one part time. I'm working full time in my tech job and then I don't have any time, you know, spare to learn about finances and manage my money. So these are some tips which can help you in managing your finances. So the first one, be clear about your needs and wants. Now, every person needs some sort of basic things in life like your rent, your metro card, your insurance, your health insurance. Now, as a human, you also have desires, which are your wants. Every human has different desires as well. That's quite subjective. But I think when you are in your early stages, you should have less desires. Have your leisure time, spend your money on, on, on things you want, but then these wants should be minimized. Now, desires should be minimum up to a point where you have your emergency fund. What is the emergency fund? This is the fund which helps you in the time in the severe situation let's say you lose your job you know maybe or some disaster happen or maybe uh, someone or maybe you yourself are going going through a severe illness or something of that sort and now you'll ask jerry how much is this emergency fund exactly this fund is equal to the amount you need for your survival for at least six months Let's say I need a thousand dollars per month to survive, to just meet my basics. Then I need six thousand dollars at least sitting in my bank in my savings to meet the requirement for emergency fund. Now, once you have made sure that your emergency funds are there, you have allocated some portion for your emergency funds. Now, once you are sure that you have your emergency funds, next step is to start investing. And as I told you, you need to save and invest. Now you'll ask. Jerry, what is the amount I should save and what is the amount I should invest and where? Hold on, I'm here to clear your doubts. First thing is, there is something which is known as a 50-30-20 rule, which is a pretty common, pretty basic thing. So, you, so from the total money you earn, you spend 50% on your needs, 30% on your wants and 20% you invest. That's how actually I do it. So 20% of investing and that's what we need to focus on. Let's see how I do it. Now the 20% money you need to invest every month, you don't need to spend a lot of time. Believe me, when you are working full time, it becomes really, really difficult. It becomes a pain in the ass to actually look out for stocks day in and day out to know where to invest your money. Because of course, that's your hard earned money and you don't want to lose it. I have three tips for you which can actually help you in look out for stocks in constantly be updated and that too in a very easy, feasible manner. First thing you need to keep in mind always is a basic rule, buy low, sell high, okay? So what you need to do is you need to look out for stocks which are of extreme value and they are undervalued right now. And then you need to enter into that stock and exit when it's high. As I've started building up a little bit of experience in investment, I have realized that at certain point of time, there are some markets which are down and there are some sectors in the market which are up, which are high. What you need to do is you need to figure out the markets which are down and then find valuable stocks which have good financials. And of course, you'll get to know it. There are mainly the popular names out there and you of course get to know them. And then you need to find out some valuable stocks that are on their 52 week low or if not, then below average. 
you need to find them out and you'll get it honestly because they are usually the very common names you use yourself or you might have seen them you know in your daily life so these are the stocks you need to look out for invest in them hold them and sooner or later you know maybe in some coming months they, they their value increases and then you can sell them off and then just exit away with your profit hold that amount and then do the same process it's it's a cyclical process and that's how you grow your money that's how you actually beat the inflation as well now how do you know which markets are low and which markets are high for that what i do is i have subscribed to certain digital newsletters like motley fools and uh, the globe and mail these are the two digital newsletters i personally have subscribed to if you want you can also do them now third and final tip which i have found very useful is something which is known as a dividend capture strategy so what it is it is so what it is actually so usually people say that you know you can earn your passive income using dividends which is very true but there is certain hack there's a certain loophole over here what you can do is you can you can invest your money in the stock which is about to give dividend in let's say a month or so hold it until you get the dividend and then exit this is known as a dividend capture strategy it has worked very well for me in the past it will always work in the future as well it will work in the future as well i'm pretty sure about it okay apart from saving and investing the third thing i want to talk about is slowly but gradually increase your active and passive both the incomes what is active income active income is your job is the your main full time employment let's say i am into development so my main job is a developer and what is my passive income my passive income is the money i earn from not from my full time job what is that it can be freelancing work it can be a part time job it can be a contract job it can be your money from dividends it can be your money from stock market anything which is not your full time job so how to increase the active income of course experience second thing is do certifications that actually matter third thing is read blogs write blogs build yourself day in and day out and that's how you actually increase your now the second thing that comes into play is increasing your passive income how you can do that first increase your hourly wage always take up part time jobs or your freelance work that pays you well on an hourly basis for part time jobs and freelancing work there are some fields that pay you more and there are some fields that pay you less so pick up those fields that have a high value entry barrier point and then double down on it second thing make sure you are using ai tools in your freelance work or your part time job whatever it is today is the day and age of ai there are a lot of tools like gpt4 or gpt and things like that which can actually help you a lot which can increase your productivity by 100x and when i say it i literally mean it because i do it mostly myself and this is something you can use to increase your passive income by 10x or maybe sometimes 100x and regarding the passive income i will talk in another video how i actually do it and how i use ai to build a passive income that will be an in-depth video tutorial on how i actually use it i'll show you live demo wait for it okay until then signing off it's jerry